Let's start this a little different. Ooh. Is this thing on? Ooh. And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world. Let's go. It's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Let's go. What up, baby? We here. And it looks like we, we, we have a guest right now. Yo, yo. And this guest, ladies and gentlemen, this yo. is... Go ahead, Switch. Who we got here? Who we got here? Who we got in here, man? What's Who up? What's got? up, y'all? <laughs> State, your, State your name, man. You know what? Oh, let, me, let me introduce my man right here, Pastor Let's Carl go. Day, founder of uh, Culture Changing Christians, right? Did I say yes, that? Sir, right? Yes, sir. Culture Changing Christians. That's now, good. this dude, this dude... He's been hard to get, man, because this Ooh, thing is hot right now, boy. <laughs> yeah, he's doing big things. He multitasking, dude, doing all kinds. Hey, he's driving. Listen, and he's doing now, it. listen, Yo, li- listen, I pass the to, call. I had to catch up with my guys, man. I, I, I'm a man of my word, you know what I'm saying? Praise God. So, so, so you know, and, and I try to jump on with the family, man. I literally just got done shooting something for ABC News. So, oh, look um, at him, name driver. Look at him, name driver. Oh, look. <laughs> hey, ho, Jay, you here too? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy here, oh. Jimmy here. Oh man, it's, it's a lot of money on this joint right now. Yeah. <laughs> the whole the whole barber shop is here, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, we, okay. We kind of wanted to bring you on because. Um, well, that's the hood I mean, pastor, though. The hood pastor. The, the I mean, we oppressed correct. outcast dwellers. <laughs> and a hopeless oppressed outcast where they dwell. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly. what it is, man. That's right. the hood. We've been that's seeing you. Hood. We've been seeing you outside. Um, been and recently you had you had a you had a conversation with Trump, which was shocking. Now you ain't pay for that or nothing, right? Like you ain't had to pay to get on there or nothing like that, right? Like that was all okay. <laughs> I'm just saying that because there's no. been something going on in CHH yo, and keep paying to get yo, pieces. Yo, yo. Check, check this out, man. In the words in the words of the great Omar, I mean not Omar, the greats of the work the great the words of the great Marlo man from the wire. My name Uh-oh. is my name, man. I, 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 I'm not paying to talk to nobody. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you, this dude different. Any dude that has stepped up there and preached to you with a doughboy shirt and quote Marlo, yeah, right. 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 you know <laughs> on some Marvel, some Marvel shirts. Right. Yeah, yeah, man, we yo, we not we not paying to talk to nobody, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that ain't happening. Yeah. So yeah. recently, you had also announced that um, you became a, co- a faith based commissioner in For Philly, city, right? Right. For the mayor. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, congratulations. Hey, congratulations! Congrats on that, bro. man. Yeah. That's Thanks, a big y'all. Move. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. That God, that's 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 God, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's God. Real talk. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's all that work, right? You 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 know, you move halfway. God finished the rest. You already <laughs> you already know, man. Like definitely definitely years and years, man. Decade of work. You know what I'm saying? Like so, you know, uh, I say it all the time, man. Don't nothing work better than some work. You know what I mean? So you know oh, when you, when you do the work, you know what I mean. God puts you before great people or in the presence of people. Uh, and that's really all that is a testament to consistency in Christ. You know what I mean? Mm. I ain't, I ain't nobody special. I ain't nobody different. Right. Um, that's just, you know, whatever he laid out before me, just going and pursuing it. You feel me? Right. 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 And that was, Yo, that was how, 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 wait on, how, how did the whole thing happen with, with, how did you get lined up with this whole Trump town hall? Um, uh, so I had, a, I had an interview with NPR, you know, uh, not too long ago. Okay. And um, one of the people, and that joint like went crazy, cause I didn't even really realize I didn't know who NPR was. I'm gonna be real, y'all. I don't even listen to media and all that kind of stuff a lot. So when they reached out, somebody was like, "Yo, they a big deal," and I'm just like, "I don't know who it is. I never heard of them." Uh, but I, I researched them because I was like, "They might have put me on one of them like Fox News joints or something, you know, where it's biased reporting and they want." Me. Yeah. Oh, he froze but out. He got cut off. Oh, no, man. We're just getting good. Right? Yeah, just right? Getting, yeah. But yeah, for y'all that don't know. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, now. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so somebody from ABC News reached out like, yo, a few of our colleagues, you know, heard you on NPR and they was just like, yo, man, you somebody that we really need to come through on this town hall. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. Like, I was just like, yo, um. I, you know, I come through because they was just like, you know, the president's supposed to come to your area. 
Um, and, you know, we would love for you to, you know, pose a question to him. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, you know, we could do it. And I went through the whole vetting process. Um, you know what I mean? Secret service and all that. Had to look into seeing who I was. Uh-huh. And, you know what I mean? But, you know. Um, Pastor Carl, Pastor Carl, did you have to uh, 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 say what you, what you were going to ask first? Yeah, 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 yeah. They act, yeah, they asked okay. us, to, to, you know, to put like multiple questions that we would like to ask. You know what I mean? Um, but they told us what nothing off the table. You follow what I'm saying? Like they oh, was right. like no issue off the table. So, nice. um, and I guess they asked multiple questions because they didn't probably want people asking the same question. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, yeah. So anyway, they reached out and was just like, yo man, we definitely want you on there, man. You're a great fit. And you know, we would love to have you on look into what I'm doing and all that. You know what I mean? So, um, they, they pretty much had a little bit of everybody from everywhere on the, on there. Um, from all different walks. It was all in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania voters. So it was some people from Pittsburgh, some people from, you know what I'm saying, places in Pennsylvania I never heard of. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, people that voted for Trump, people that didn't vote for Trump, you know what I mean? And, you know, Fox News later said it was an ambush. But, you know what I'm saying, it was, it was, dude, <laughs> right. it was, yo, listen, man, one of the dudes that asked Trump a question had a baseball <laughs> ready to get signed by him. After the drink wow. was over, so oh, so, wow. so it was like, bro, nobody ambushed you. They was in that joint loving you, cause right, like you right, know what right. I mean. Like, so, sure. um, but yeah, so you know that's that's how that came together. So was was the question right? Cause that was a question where right. it, it, it kind of went pretty viral, right? That was like, the question heard around the world. Was, it, was your question the alley oop? Like you knew, cause cause when you when 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 you hear Trump, he's always kind of like he gives the similar kind of answers, you know, uh, done the most for African-American community since Abraham Lincoln, unemployment, all right. this stuff, right? <laughs> it's pretty much like routine, right? So did you know, like, I, I'm going to throw this alley real quick and then slam dunk it? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> kind of thing, I, like, I, I low-key threw it off the backboard. You know, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know but, but I mean, truth be told, you know, y'all know me, man, like, Again, man, my city, my people would call me pastor the hood. So it's like, you know, if I get the opportunity, God gives me the opportunity, I'm going to speak for my demographic that I serve. You know what I mean? Like, right. I got crazy, crazy flack from so many sides in regards wow. to this. You know, I'm talking to Democrats, Republicans, you know what I mean? Like, but for me, it was like, yo, if I get in front of, the, you know, the president, man, I got to address the demographic I serve, just like anybody else who come with their own agenda. Like, Absolutely. I think America got to stop lying to themselves. A lot of people vote for what's in their best interest. Like this whole narrative mm, or notion actual. that everybody cares about everybody in the country. Right. That's a damn lie because that's yep. just to say that so that you can get that person to vote for your candidate. You follow what I'm saying? Right. So if you're about business, you're about the stock market, everything else, and you're about your business, you ain't about to care about the environment. You ain't about to care about a lot of stuff. You're going to say, yo, man, Trump is going to do what he's going to do to make sure my bag stays straight. You know what I'm saying? You LGBTQ, you're going to say, yo, listen, I'm with whoever, you know what I'm saying, progressive. Mm-hmm and want to preserve my rights as, as part of that community. You know what I mean? Right. And you you go to college or you got them loans, you want to know who's going to forgive them loans the most, who's going to give up, you know what I mean, the most cash. It right. always comes down so personal, you know, in their personal choice, which is why I, 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 feel, I feel crazy that, like, it went from us trying to encourage our people to vote then to us almost trying to tell our people who to vote for. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, okay. so that's why, that brothers, part. like, that's why, brothers, I've been staying on the side where I'm like, yo, I'm undecided. Because, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not here, A, to advocate for either. But if y'all going to continue to give me a voice, I'm going to speak for the voiceless. And that's how many of the people feel in, in the communities we come from. They like, right. yo, when was America great for us? And I'm right. talking blacks, Latinos, people in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, this country ain't great or it ain't, we ain't experienced the same level of greatness that everybody else did. You know what I mean? So... You know, he couldn't point me to a specific era because if right. he would have pointed to any era, y'all, it'd have been like, wait, right. the seventies? You mean right. when they was? Yeah, they was. You know what I mean? Sixties? We still weren't allowed to <laughs> use the same water fountain. Yeah, yeah. And you, mean, like, he said, you went. You he went said back six like months 20, ago. Yo, you went back like twenty eight years, right? <laughs> dude yeah. said. Dude said all the way back to the Clinton era. <laughs> yeah. Yo, well, he brought yeah, up red, all the way back to the class. He yeah. brought up systemic racism with redlining, right? Uh, this the sub yep. what do you call that subprime <laughs> loans that they were given um when the crash happened and all that. So he brought up some good points, yep. man. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well you and, I, and I didn't show no bias. No, nah, that's that's what I was I about didn't show to no say. Bias to, to Obama neither. I said it the hood been the same. Yep. 
they been the right. same other dude too. Right. That's and, and that's what I was gonna say because I was like, well, it's interesting. You said you got it from Republicans and Democrats because exactly you didn't show any bias because you 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 said it and you said it in the interview too. You was like past administrations as well. When has it been good for any administration to begin with? Republican, right. Democrat, like when have they promised to give us what they what they always promised? Yeah. And pa- Pastor, you don't you don't subscribe to any any uh I, I think I, I saw on the CNN it was like you went for an independent party one year or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I wanted to ask. Yeah. That. Yep. Yeah. The last one, 2016, I went I went down with either crook, man, 2016. So I went <laughs> I went I rolling with it, wait, you know what I'm saying? Wait, so you so, did, you didn't you didn't vote for the less, lesser of the two evils? No sir. <laughs> no okay. sir. No sir. I like I, I'm I like a Christian, good brother. I'm not choosing any evil. I like exactly. this. Uh, that, 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 that's what that is, man. My Bible is never. My Bible never told me to side with any evil, man. So, so if I don't, if I don't feel like you know what I'm saying we position properly, I'm, I'm definitely not going to openly advocate for anybody or anything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, you know, again, I just been pushing, lay out the tangible plan. My people need to see the plan of what they're going to do to create tangibles for us. You know what I mean? So, right. you know, what y'all going to do within the first hundred days? To set the tone for us, like lay that out and, 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 and allow us to hold you accountable to it. Otherwise, you ain't gonna see me sit there and, 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 and commit to anybody. Right, right. On the on the CNN interview, I remember you saying that as far as, far as not picking the lesser of two evils, um, and, and letting the people know, which was was big because I feel like, uh, uh, uh you know, the Republicans are so gung ho about Trump, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so scary the way they idolize him, right? And on the flip side, right? And when I mean scary, I mean Christians, how scary they idolize in this man. Um, like. And on the flip side, I see a lot of Democrats want to bully people into voting for Biden. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you got these two sides where it's just, it's, it's just nuts. And like you said, as a Christian, I couldn't see myself uh, picking an evil, you know what I'm saying, that that I could potentially later on feel some type of way being, knowing that I involved myself or attached myself to that. Absolutely. And you know what's crazy, brothers? What we see on display in Western Christianity, American Christianity, we see a failure to effectively disciple people. When we Mm -hmm. see the fact that we have so many people who call themselves Christians, placing their hope or, you know, uh, blindly following a party and that under so much idolatry, man, it goes to show you, man, that these people truly don't depend on the Christ the way in which they profess to. And they mm. haven't been discipled properly, man. It, it's on full display. Even the reform side, your whole high academia side of Christians, the privileged ones who swear up and down at the, the, the minority churches, your Pentecostals and Baptists, they missing the mark or they're not you know, as, uh, as, as, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, real rap. You know? and, and they, they really, you know, they feel like, man, we we really haven't been equipped with the fullness of the gospel because of their schooling right. and everything else. And right. now here it is. They the ones, man, that like you said, Ant-Man is blindly following that man in office right now, not caring about what he said, what he does, his allegations, you know what I'm saying? Countless allegations of rape, anything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It, it don't even That's matter. And, and, and to be fair, it's on, it's on both sides, too. It's on both sides. Heavy on both sides. Yeah. Heavy on both sides. Yeah, so, it, it's crazy. And that's and that's our choice, right? You got one that's, that's so... They so hard on getting one man out that they're willing to blindly forget about everything this guy does. And then you got the other side where supposedly they're so religious that that they're pushing for this guy. Yo, this is insane, yo. So the, yeah. the only thing, the only place for us to turn as Christians is to God. Cause you, right now we in a position, like it's it's literally warfare, whether it's outside or spiritual, it, it's a war. Amen. Amen. Yo, Carl, so Amen. I, 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 I got a question. I gotta be devil's advocate, right? Oh, <laughs> oh. Maybe that's not the word to use. Right. But um, <laughs> so I saw a lot of comments and all yeah, the comments. Brother, we don't ever want to be the devil, good brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but you know, uh, they, there was there was a lot of comments, and most of them were more in your favor. But a few people were saying, um, basically, with the income equality, right? 
how how like basically how does uh -huh. is that is that an oppression thought like some people were trying to i don't know if you probably saw those comments as well like oh with we we just um we're buying that mentality or or, or, or that's what's been f fed to us kind of thing so like what's your pushback to people that say things like that i mean well when people say that man that's that that's that nonsensical prideful elitist, black elitist, I made it out, so, so can you mentality. You know what mm. I'm saying? Now, granted, granted, I can take that home with me, too. Like, 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 dog, like, this is the thing with me, man. I'm humble, man, especially in comparison to what we see nowadays. Because if we really want to talk, man, what these rappers, these cornball rappers boast about when they talk about stuff they never did, like, y'all, y'all talking about, like, let's, let's keep it 100. Y'all talk about a pastor who had a congregation less than 100 people, you know what I'm saying? Two times felon, you know what I'm saying, mm. with violent felonies on his record. Talk to him. Let's go. Overcoming everything that I've overcame, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Not only just to pastor people and and, and and establish relationships, meaningful relationships with the mayors and make USA Today's and all that, even before the Trump stuff. You dig what I'm saying? Like, so when people mm -hmm. think I'm saying what I'm saying because oh, he just won TV time. Like, doc, I've been on TV for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like that's that's nothing to me. I can care less about it. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, it's like, yo, so I know all about the, oh man, yo, I had to do this and pull myself out of this and I had to end up here. I could play that card all day long too, but that would be totally ignorant and asinine to so many other people who, A, you know, weren't as blessed as I was because I know the Christ among so many other different variables. You follow what I'm saying? Mm. So when we talking about uh, dealing with you know what I'm saying? The systems that was created, and they was intentionally created for a reason. We talk about the differences right. in funding to educational systems. We talk about how, you know, overly criminalized African-Americans are and how we fill the populations with jails. We can go back to just the 80s in itself when they flooded us with the drugs and the guns, which created the conditions we in. Like, right. cause this is nothing we making up here. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, yo, you create the problem that creates the symptoms and this is the result you get. You know what right. I mean? Boys that don't have their fathers. And when you see black men say this, like, no, no, no lie, y'all. Or as they say in the rap, we're like, no cap. I legitimately be wanting to fight some of these dudes when I see them say the stupidity <laughs> that they say. It's like real rap. Like, boy, you was a black man jump out here acting like suddenly, like, you don't know why there's fatherless children out here. This is mm -hmm. what they, these the this is the conditions they created. So when you, right. yeah, generational. So also you have to do the math, man. It's like environments are important. Culture dictates so much within environments. So if you have a demographic of people here where you've historically killed their leaders off, you've killed off every bit of progress, every time they've had progress, everything from Seneca Village, which is Central Park. You know what I'm saying? Right, they right, moved the right. black side of there, created Central Park. You got the black Wall Street. Every time you've seen African-Americans, so don't make it seem like we, we, we don't try or we haven't done anything progressive out here every time we've generated progress man they've destroyed it they decimated us it's the same history that repeats itself yeah. so then you put people in a position where they literally have no hope they're making hopeless decisions you know what i'm saying so again wealth inequality man those numbers over 60 years have not changed it's blatantly evident you know what i'm saying uh in the disparity of salary income the type of jobs and opportunities that are presented people in our communities dig this mm -hmm. california right now dog the, they, they just passed a law celebrating the fact that okay the prisoners who we have being volunteer firefighters yeah who knocking yep. a jail time off dog this is what we're doing with them we're gonna go ahead and give them the opportunity to actually apply for a firefighter position when <laughs> dog they done did 15 year sentences where they been being firefighters anyway right, so right. so 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 now we sell it as progress, but essentially we know that guess what? They'll get turned down anyway for the job in which they've been qualified for because they've been firefighters for $2.20 an hour mm. anyway, risking their lives. So again, this is inequality at its best. You talk about raising uh, a minimum wage. Minimum wage goes to $15, brother. If they don't put any protections in it the way that they do tax abatement for 10 years for those who move in newly gentrified areas, what good is $15 an hour if gas gonna cost you $7 a gallon? Soon as the soon as the, the, the pay rate go up, everything else everything inflates else, as well. Right. Yeah. Come on, bro. So right. again, 
this is all wealth inequality. And then when you have people in positions historically who've been able to be business owners and homeowners due to out the redlining and everything else, bro, you're creating generations of right. entrepreneurs and whatnot. So again, man. And um, right now, that gap is the highest right now that we've ever seen. Amen. Yeah, we've seen that that gap is the highest. So, you know, I was blessed, man, by you and what, what I saw because, you know, throughout the word, you always see um, you always see the Lord raise up men who see the oppression uh -huh. and they want to help the people. And yep. at the same time, you see the Lord promote them. And when I saw you in front of Trump, I, I kind of like I was I was kind of blessed because I'm like, wow, like this is dope because it's like we mean you know, we've right? seen. Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. you've seen a man of God who really has a heart for the people and now is coming before, you know, you know, like just like back in the days, in the Bible days, the kings, the magites, you know what I mean? The yep. the, the, the yep. presidents and all those things. So I was really in blessed, man. I I really encourage you, man. Keep on doing what you're doing, man. And um, you know, you know, stay, you know, with that accountability and that focus, because I know you know you might get targets thrown at you from different directions, you know, but the Lord sure. is with you, man, for sure, man. Yo, this is real talk. And, and look, you already know he made it when he got on TMZ and said, them chicks in there said they wanted to convert. <laughs> <laughs> they said, oh, that pastor? I'm, I'm about to get sick. Oh, that's the buff pastor. <laughs> yeah. She ready, she ready to get baptized. You know, and, and, and they they going to they go leave disappointed, man, because all they going to leave with is some Jesus, man. We're not disappointed. <laughs> oh, no, no, right. Disappointed if that's what they came for. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that, that's what it is, man. Real talk, though, man. But I mean, honestly, and I'm not saying it from a victim perspective either, brothers, because y'all know I'm big on accountability. I'm in the hood every day talking to brothers about what they need to be doing, how we yeah. need to police our own communities, hold our people accountable, uh, stop supporting. Y'all yeah. know I'm out, I, I, I've been hourly outspoken about hip hop, you know what I'm saying, the nonsense that hip hop promote, you know yeah. what I mean? That's part of the problem. A lot of my youngins out here want, want to be like the Chicago Bulls. Right, 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 right. You feel right. me? So the drill music. I, I keep it. I keep it hundred on all sides, man. Yo, and I, I saw you just got that independent. Big. Um, you put out an article for Independent too. Yeah, Busy. yeah, man. Yeah, that joint just dropped today too, man. Shout out to Independent UK, man. Like you know, what I'm saying for uh, for 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 asking me to, you know, what I mean, speak on the situation, um, and talk about the realities, man. It, and it's good. Guess what? Globally, man, people gonna get to hear about right. the hood. You see what I'm saying? Like right. th that's my biggest thing, y'all. Like people people think it's like an opportunist play, and it's just like I don't got nothing to sell nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I ain't, you know what I mean? Like, I, I got to point them to the Switch mixtape or something right now because I ain't got nothing to sell nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, 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 so whatever this little 15 minutes of fame doing, it ain't doing much for me because, you know, ain't nobody sending no truckload of money my way. And I, I'm definitely not about to sit here. I ain't got nothing to plug. I ain't about to say, oh, yeah, so buy my book, you know, the African-American mm, community and how right, we right. can save it and everything else. Like, no, my mission has always been, let me be a voice for my people. Let me bring a voice to the table, represent my people. And right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a it's a great success because now we got the world talking about the hoods in America. Right. right. As you should. Yeah, man. That's it. They they acknowledge in our struggle now. People in the UK, people wherever, can go read and see what kind of struggles we face, you know, historically in this country. And, and, and hopefully that opened the door for more people to pray for our plight too while we're here. Right, right. I mean, that, that's great. I mean, because... Like you said, right now we we dealing with two candidates that neither one of them have plans for the hood. Neither one at of them got at all. I haven't heard a plan from either side. And and shoot, one of the sides is is partly responsible for these mass incarcerations we dealing with right now. Man, so if you want to yeah, talk I would about, I like to see that. I like to see you and that. Biden. <laughs> so if you want to talk now, about all of this, all these, uh, 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 all this marching and, and, and protesting, and we doing. You know, that ain't going nowhere no time soon, it seems like, unless, you know, unless we get people more aware like you doing. So, yep. because that's the only thing we can do right now is is inform our people and right. keep keep fighting that fight that you're doing because, you know, we, we need to wake everybody up. Listen, man, I, man. Think, I think Biden's going to have a hard time. Pa Pastor Carl, so is, is, is a third party still an option for you? Um... I would I would say I would say it's still an option. 
Uh, but uh, the same rules apply, man. They gotta they gotta bring something to the table, man. Right. Like you know right. what I mean? I tell you what, Stein was clear. Like as far as I'm concerned, man, she was she was really clear. Uh, with, with, for, as far as I was concerned, man, I really liked the ideas, man. I'll be honest too. Um, I actually like Warren over Biden as well. You know what I'm saying? Like when it came when it came down to it, like I, I would have preferred her over Biden to run. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think um, a lot of people weren't happy with Biden pick. Yeah, yeah, and and I just feel like yo, like he has great opportunity, man, to really make sure he gained ground. But but like like Ant said, man, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of things people question on his end. You know what I mean? Historically, that that's also part of the problem, right? I think that's that's where Hillary ran into trouble at, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, yeah. you know, a she didn't campaign well, but b she had history. Her and her husband had a history, right. and and like Trump really didn't have history, so people was kind of like, hey, we might need to do something different. And right. even now, you know. Biden got a history, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and for those who may feel like Obama had a lot left to be desired, you know, left a lot to be desired, maybe like, okay, well, he coming from there, but I feel like ain't much come from that, you know what I mean? From that situation. Right. Although he wasn't the president, but still people like, right. they attached together, you know what I'm saying? So some right. people still might be looking at it that way. And then they see your comments, you know, if you ain't black, you, you know, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. Uh, 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 oh, poor boy. kids are just as smart as white kids, you know what I'm saying? So, that's he a, his foot in his mouth. Man, for sure. In, in Trump fashion. What, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Basically. Basically. Yeah, man. So, so that's the part where, again, man, mm -hmm. if, if, and that's all I keep saying, if y'all would just lay out some tangibles, man, y'all would get a lot more people to feel a little bit more sure and right. say, all right, yo, I'm just going to go that way. I like what he was talking about. But we hear everything else, man, except like, Again, man, explicitly, yo, this is what you need to be doing for us, man. Pastor Carr, what, what is something that you think or you would uh, present, let's say, to the next administration if you had the opportunity to be like, and they come to you and they say, hey, uh, we want to work okay. with the hood. We want to work with what, it, what do you guys need? What would you say to, to, the, to the president? So, so I mean, I would, I would legitimately say to them, you know, what – what kind of tangible first action steps that you can actually put forth, you know, within the first hundred days? Well, I, I'm willing to say this. Check this out. This is something I, I said to some people earlier. One of the things that trouble me is this narrative, right, that they have to wait. You know, Biden and company just raised 365 M's last month to campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why are you waiting? When, when, and Trump, too. When will y'all pay it forward? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't nothing win the vote more, uh, more. Don't nothing win the vote over more than you know putting your money where your mouth is. You follow what I'm saying? Like, so mm -hmm. if you got 365 um, M's, like you can go ahead and say, let me get 10 percent back to Philly, New York, Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Um, and put that 36 M's to work. You know, grassroots orgs that's really doing the work who probably can't get it from the city of state budgets because a most of the money, if anybody knows that are in tune with what's going on in major cities right now, budgets are entangled into COVID relief. So a lot of your violence prevention organizations, your entrepreneur stuff, all the assistance, everything else is gone. So right. why not take 10% of that and say, yo, you know what I mean? I'm going to put my money where my mouth is because dig this also in doing so my lobbyists are giving me the money because they want me in office so I can do favors. Now the community realize, yo, if you collecting all this bread, you got $370 million worth of promises to make back to them other people before you get to my vote and my voice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, so, right. So, so, so why not pay it forward now? And another thing we got to challenge, one of the reasons why third party don't really mean much to people is because you got your liberal and, 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 and your conservative news outlets who are capitalizing the most because mm -hmm. they're taking all the campaign coins. Mm -hmm. Why aren't we holding these people accountable to find out why the hell it costs so much to educate the voters on what should be public free information? You know, CNN and these, these other companies get enough of our viewership all year long. You don't have to take hundreds of millions of dollars from the campaign to go ahead and give these people a voice because they should do the same for the third party. But we know the third party ain't really bringing that kind of money in. So we got to break these monopolies if we really want change. But I, who am I? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But, but listen, um, thank you, Pastor Carl, for coming on, for talking to Bro, us. We appreciate you. We really appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. And uh, if anybody wants to 
uh, listen or learn more about Pastor Carl, you can follow him on Instagram, Pastor Carl Day. And uh, I don't know, Pastor Carl, you got anything else you want to let the people know? Nah, man. I just want the people to know, man, make an informed decision, do what you got to do. Um, and I, I want to say people need to focus on what we do in the next four years, over the next four years, and what we need to do now, because I don't want to keep having to pick from any evil every four years. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Amen. if we really plan on breaking this thing down, guess what, man? Regardless of who gets in the office, we got work to do. Let's start doing this work now. Let's figure out what ways we can unite, uh, regardless of our party affiliation, if we really about the betterment for everybody else. Amen. 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 And when that book dropping, man? <laughs> yo, yo, listen. I tell little book. <laughs> listen, listen, man, you, you, you sound like everybody else. Two questions everybody asks. When, when the book dropping and when I'm running for some type of office. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. Y'all going to see, y'all going to see, uh, y'all going to see a book though before y'all see me run for any office. But again, man, I got a lot of pressing work to do, man. So for me, it's like, man, that book stuff and all that, man, you know what I mean? That's, 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 that's for the guys, man, who got the time, man, the capacity for it. I ain't, I ain't, you know what I mean? It's too much stuff for me to do, man. So <laughs> I hear you. I was just trolling, but yeah. <laughs> no, but but listen, you ain't you ain't. I'm telling you right now, you about the eighth person that asked me that. Yeah. So as nice. far as I'm concerned, man, it's like yo, it ain't happening, man. No time soon, man. It's, when, when my city chill and calm down, maybe I can do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you for your time, Pastor Carl. Yeah, we appreciate, we appreciate you, you, bro. All no with out, man. Appreciation mutual, man. Listen, man, I love y'all brothers, man. And, um, you know, I got to slide back through, man, especially when I'm stationary at some point, man. Yeah. But, you know, we for love sure. It. We would love it. Y'all going to hold me down, man, because if main man get back in office somehow, endorse the other camp, they might blame. So keep me lifted. <laughs> we'll definitely, we'll definitely do yeah. I doubt that, man. I doubt it, but, but you know. <laughs> you, you you'd be surprised, man. You know what I mean? I, yo, the, the emails like one one day, y'all. We gonna spend some time, man. Just doing the slideshow joint on the emails, just reading the funniest <laughs> emails I got, man. But you know, I you had sure I you that because then they'll say you gossiping or something. You, you, you. oh man, yeah, I'm, leak, <laughs> I'm leaking the screenshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but 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 dick this though, that ain't gossip, man. Because I ain't asked for them to communicate with me. They went and found me and harassed me. So right. These days, you can't comment and have an opinion a, on anything. I had, a, I had a white dude from somewhere, man. God tell me, man, I'm a racist nigger. I said, it's like, yeah, oh. man, but <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yes. It's crazy out here, man. Wow. So, that's you know. That's nuts. Yo, All right. we All appreciate right. you, brother. All right, man. I'll definitely get with you. All right, man. Peace, y'all. God bless. Later, All right, later. man. Love you, man. Love y'all, too, man. Peace. Love you. Later. Shabba. Wow. That was dope. That, that was know, dope. We, we, we giving it to you raw and uncut. So if you if there was some some mishaps and everything, yo, he just left an interview with Fresh off the set, with, man. With ABC, Fresh, right? Right, fresh off the set. Oh, y'all got know, an exclusive. You know what I mean? Right, on the move, on the move. So excuse it, but it's 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 fresh. It's raw and uncut. So you know it is what it is. So excuse the 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 slight mishaps on the on the connection. Yeah, we truly love that brother, man. His energy, his his work, tapping, following. He, he's an OG from the barbershop, too. Yeah. Yep. Yep. yep he okay. is, and and he's a um like he said, he's a, a humble dude, straightforward. I enjoyed it, yo. Well, with that being said, I know this uh, episode has gone way longer. Uh, we're on that Joe Rogan mode right now, but let's go. Let's if you get enjoyed that Joe it, Rogan bag. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe. A lot of our viewers are watching our videos, but they're not yeah. subscribing. It's super subscribe. easy. Just hit the subscribe button; it'll turn gray, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. um, Make sure uh, you go to uh, shop.nessachristian.com, get your merch, um, and uh, our Eurific. channel, cha Eurific. yeah, our channel sponsor, Eurific, Eurific.com. Use code TNC, get those uh, sanitizing walls for your kids, for your grandma, your grandpa, for everybody. And don't forget, watching, watching Vantes, uh, dot com. com. Get them shirts. Uh, Get them cease and desist. We are the yeah. fastest growing cease and desisted podcast. <laughs> and um, check out um at Pastor Carl Day on um on Instagram. IG. Yeah, check him out. Uh, I think he's on Twitter as well. Same handle. And and if you if you guys want, he's in, he's 
in the community working hard. If you want to sow into his church, just know he's using that towards uh, uh, um, um, helping out the, the hood. Word. Facts. So we'll see you next week. Thanks for rocking with us. And uh, enough with the clown stuff. Peace. Peace.